guys, you're looking at an Enzo Trapper. An absolute beautiful, beautiful knife. Performs really, really well. And we'll do some reviews on that in a minute. Some little cut tests with it. Two brass pins. No lanyard hoe. Ooh, don't mind that. The handle. Carly Birch. There's your brass pins. And you can see that there's just no room for that lanyard hoe. Um, I have been told that on some knives now there is a lanyard hoe where you can get it available. Curly Birch, one piece construction. You've got the red liners that goes uh, on first, then obviously your, your scales are clamped onto that. Beautiful set of scales, you just can't fault them. They look absolutely awesome. Bit of three, three and three quarter inch cutting blade there, 22 Scandi on it, and it comes razor sharp, and it is razor sharp, guys. Nice point on there. He's about three mil thick, I would say, uh, something like that. Got about three mil there. Beautiful. How does it perform in cut test? Let's crack right on with it. This ain't my knife, guys. This is me brother's knife. So if you see it break, uh, don't worry, it wasn't mine. So we're going to cut this. Chop test, no problems at all. Um, I've got some wood down here. Chop test, no problems at all. Power cuts, this is what I've already been playing with today. No problems on the power cut guys, into the knee. No problems there, Look, you can see it's just eating away at the wood. And that's the thing with these uh, trappers. Oh, they love it. When you can peel wood like that, you know you've got a good blade. And that's the benefit of having a slightly thinner blade on a bushcraft knife, is you've always got less friction there. If you get 4mm, you've got to put 4mm worth of steel through cutting timber. If you've got 3, you're only putting 3mm through. So you tend to find your slightly thinner blades on these smaller and more position cuts will do really, really well. Anything you want to do with it, from tent pegs, pot hangers, pots, Whatever you want to do, this knife, no problems at all. Notch in, anything you want. Feels comfortable in the hand. The handle is a little bit small for me and sometimes he bites me on the back of the hand there. And that's no fault of the knife, it's just not, say it's just not designed for big, big hands. Um, be a beautiful neck knife for someone like me. Uh, certainly wouldn't mind having that around my neck, but uh, this will do anything you want it to do. It's certainly in, you know, competing with the bigger bushcraft knives, your wolves, yeah, your jack laws, all them type of blades, your uh, your condors. It's uh, no problems at all with that. Really like it. So there it is, guy. Oh, we'll do the drill tip test. Uh, let's zoom in a bit. Well guys, no problems at all with that. Absolute beauty. Well guys, hope you enjoyed this review and a few cut tests. That was the Enzo Trapper, an absolute beautiful knife. Who's it suited to? Well, anyone I suppose. Anyone, um, if unless you, I suppose if you've got smaller hands, it would be an absolute cracking knife. If you just like the smaller blade, if you've got big hands, it would be a cracking blade. Enzo Trapper, guys. Certainly think it fits the parcel for a bushcraft knife and uh, an outdoor pursuits knife. So guys, with that in mind, I'm out in the woods having some fun. I hopefully get another video out to you today. I'll see you all on the next one.